It's a house like no other. Where 51 cameras follow your every move. And 74 microphones capture your every word. This is the Big Brother house. Tonight, 14 men and women will enter this house with one goal in mind, to be the last one standing. They will live in total confinement, cut off from the outside world. Every week, the house guests compete for food, luxuries, and most importantly, power. Each week, they will vote to evict one of their own, until only one house guest remains to claim the half million dollar prize. And tonight, six people have no idea what's about to happen to them. They will each come face to face with the last person they would ever want to see. An estranged father and daughter who have not spoken in two years. Bitter ex-boyfriends. One sought vengeance by turning all their friends against the other. And then these two, former high school best friends forever. But what tore them apart? Find out tonight on Big Brother 8. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Tonight, 14 house guests will embark on the journey of a lifetime, each with the dream of walking away with the half million dollar grand prize. But for some, that dream will take an unexpected turn. Before this hour is over, the house guests will learn that some of them will be sharing the Big Brother house with a rival, enemy, or someone with whom they have unfinished business. How will this news affect the game? Can the house guests use this twist to their advantage, or will it be more than they can handle? We'll soon find out. But first, let's take a look at the new house guests. Just a few days ago, they were each surprised when they received their key to the Big Brother house. Oh my God! What have you got? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jess Cat. And the only person I'll be cheering for is myself. Come on and popping. <laughs> I'm Nick. And I'm gonna use this body for bait. <laughs> I'm Eric, and no one's ever played this game like me before. I see your son making up. Tricks on camera. I hope you're okay oh, with that. Oh, Lordy. Oh, my God! <laughs> Here we go. Right on. Guess I'm in. <laughs> Yay, I got it! Oh, my God! I'm Danielle, and don't underestimate this California girl. Now it's official. I feel sorry for those people. <laughs> I'm Evil Dick, and the house isn't going to know what hit him. Oh, my God, I need to pack. I'm Jen, and my body it's not my only asset. In the house, baby, this is my key to a half a million dollars. I'm Mike, and I'm gonna paint the rest of the house guests out of the picture. Oh my God, I have an hour to pack before I have to leave. Need hairspray? That's the bin, hair was out of place. <laughs> if there are people that smoke there, I am going to die. Jeez, Dad, you got enough cigarettes? <laughs> yeah, I think I got enough to last week. <gasps> <laughs> I'm Kale, and my family runs this little town, just like I'm going to run the Big Brother house. You have an hour to <gasps> pass. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, Sammy. Thank you so much. I'm Joe. I'm going to blow away the competition. Hi, I'm Carol. This senator's daughter knows a thing or two about politics. <laughs> I can't get it. I'm a single mom from Vegas. I'm about to show you how this game should really be played. <laughs> I'm Zach. I'm going to outthink the competition. Oh, it's for real. <laughs> I'm Dustin. And I'm going to walk all over the competition. I'm Jamika. I'm a very sweet person, but don't get on my bad side. You'll regret it. I hate those crazy religious zealot types. I have to bring my Bible. She's like, oh, hallelujah! 
this. This is gonna be oh. great. This one will mean a lot to me. Good man. Wish me luck. Good luck. Bye, Mufasa. Be good. Don't pee on the floor. When I get back, you're gonna be very rich. I love you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. I bet they've never partied with the Kansas girl before. All right, bye, y'all. Joey! I got on the show! I'm Ellie! Woohoo! All right, guys! Now that you've met the house guests, let's bring them out to meet each other. This is the very first time these 11 have laid eyes on each other. They're not allowed to talk to one another until they're inside the Big Brother house. Welcome, house guests. I'm Julie. Check out the men and women around you. You'll be getting to know them very well over the next three months. Among them, you could find a new best friend, or not. But remember, ultimately, each of you is on your own. This is, above all, a competition, a demanding summer-long power struggle with only one winner. When you enter the house, you will have only one minute to choose a bed by placing your bag on it. Make your choice quickly, but carefully, because several of you will not only be housemates, but also bedmates. You will enter in three groups chosen at random. The first group, to enter the Big Brother house will be Carol, Joe, Mike, and Amber. You may now go inside. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know, where are we going? Big Brother 8, baby! <laughs> oh, they're so tall. Here's two, oh, okay. What's in there? Oh, I want the round bag. Oh, tough <laughs> choice, but a tall bed's kind of fun for a big boy. Uh, I'm totally going with this one. Joe, over the top, but you got to love it. I'm Joe. Amber. Amber, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. what was Carol. Carol, good to meet you, Mike. Oh, God. Nice to meet you, awesome. too. Oh, look at it, it's like a garden doll house. Nick, Danielle, and Jamika. Now it's your turn. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Go, go, go. Hey! <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm cool with this. Oh, that's hilarious. You want that one? I saw the beds and I'm 6'2", the beds about 5'5", five, five, and I was thinking it would hinder my chances if I was looking to uh, invite a girl back to my bed. My wife. Nick. And Amber. Amber? Yeah. Nick. He's really, really attractive. There's like sparks there, like for real. <laughs> Mike, Nick, Nick. Oh, oh my god, it's Anna Nicole's ghost. Oh, <laughs> Kale, Jen, Eric, and Zach. You may now go inside. Oh my god, where are the hills? Oh, 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 Hold on. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, damn. No way. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I usually sleep on, like, a huge king mattress, and I was like, OK, there has to be something else. Well, it's two beds. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can have that. I don't know. Wow, those are. What's going on, man? How are you doing, yeah. Eric, how are you? I think every other guy in the house is 6'1 or taller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 5'7", and I could care less, but there is something comical about these giants towering over me. Eric, what's going on? All right, so I think these, there's no more rooms, right? So, Jen. I really, like, didn't think, like, anyone was, like, attractive at all, like, for guys-wise. Like, 
I don't know, like, okay, like, almost attractive, but, like, not. How come there's only 11 people? Did anybody notice that? I, I noticed that as yeah. well. I say there's more people coming in. I, I love this house. This is the absolute best. Oh, my goodness. I love these colors. It's like Alice in Wonderland. That has to be the theme of this season, Alice in Wonderland. It has to be. <laughs> so can we do names again? Yeah. I think we all need to do yeah. names. We should, there's a start. Okay. I'm Amber, I'm a cocktail waitress. I'm 27 and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Carol, I'm 21, so I'm guessing I'm the youngest. Oh! Yeah. And I am still a student. I'll be a senior next year at the University of Kansas. All right, <laughs> next. I'm Danielle, I'm also 21, and I told everyone that I was 21. I have less than two months till my 21st birthday. I just didn't want to be like the one person who was underage, and I'm from Orange County. The women in the house are really hot, but uh, the choice between meeting girls and to play the game, I'm here to win. So I'm Jen, so what do I do? I don't even know what I do, I do too many things. Okay, I'm like the fun nanny, it's for awesome kids, they're 10 and 13. And then I'm an estate manager for an estate in Beverly Hills, it's really fun. Jen's definitely hot, she's definitely got a kicking body, um, the body's definitely there. And I also, of course, since I live in LA, I do modeling and acting and hosting, as always, everyone does. <laughs> I find Jen very annoying, just simply, I just don't feel like she's a person of substance because of her enormous giant boobs. And how old are you, Jen? Oh, and I'm 23. I'm Kale, and I'm a real estate agent. Back home, half the town works for me. I did not want to tell them that I was a multi-business owner because if I am fortunate and blessed to make it to the final two, they will say, oh, she's already has enough money. And I'm just shy of 38. Wow. Oh, really cool. Cool. Do you have any children? I do. I have three teenagers. Oh, oh wow. Yep. Speaking of children, I have a little girl. Oh, cool. I plan to win this game for my daughter because she's my inspiration. Yeah. Uh, I'm Eric, I'm 27, even though I don't look a day over 18, and uh, <laughs> I'm from New York. I'm an assistant in, like, an advertising marketing sort of oh. office. Is that really all that exciting? <laughs> I, like, I make photocopies and, like, file things, like, it's not that exciting. I'm Joe, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. For my job, I'm a receptionist at a children's hair salon. I got to dress up as Corduroy Bear one year. <laughs> I would never want my kids to come to me and tell me that they chose a gay lifestyle. I would probably be very heartbroken. Uh, my name's Mike, and I'm a painting contractor. All right, I am Nick, I am 25, and I'm from Minnesota. Oh, don't you know? You know, yeah. you betcha. <laughs> Hands down, Nick is the most gorgeous. Are you kidding me? He has got great hair. He's a phys ed person, so he really cares about his body. I'm Zach, I'm a graphic designer. I do web design. I am Jamika, and I am 27. I am not used to being around all of these white people. I definitely fell out of my element. And um, I'm from Maryland, so. Okay. Come on, we gotta stand. Big brother, ready? Let's do it up good. Breezy summer yet? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Here, The house guests are settling in and starting to feel at ease in the house but they wouldn't be so comfortable if they knew that there are three other people in the house right at this moment. But where are they and who are they? More on that in a few moments. And later, another surprise twist. Dr. Will may have been the puppet master in seasons past, but on Big Brother 8, you will be pulling the strings. We'll tell you how when we return. Welcome back to Big Brother 8. 11 house guests have just moved in, but they were not the first to enter the Big Brother house. Earlier today, three other house guests moved in and have been secretly living upstairs. But who are these people? Let's find out right now. Hello, house guests. Dustin, Jessica, Dick. I'm sure you're wondering why there are only three of you in the Big Brother house. Just assuming Some that something's time. going on. Well, you're right. You're not alone. There are 11 house guests downstairs, and not all of them are strangers to you. Oh. Each of you will be spending the summer with someone 
from oh. your past. Yes. <laughs> it could be an enemy or a rival or someone you have unfinished business with. In short, the last person you'd ever want to see in the Big Brother house. The good news is the other house guests have no idea that you are in the house. And you're going to be able to watch their every move and they won't be able to see you. I'll leave you now to find out with whom you'll be spending the summer. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. I don't see anyone. It's my ex. He's wearing my shirt and I'm wearing his shirt. <laughs> oh. He's very manipulative. Oh, really? Yeah. And he has gigantic nipples. <laughs> oh my god, that's mine. Who is she? Rivals from high school, big time. Oh, there's my daughter that my daughter that hasn't talked to me in two years. Oh god, I'm sorry. I could give up because how it goes is how it goes, and I can't change anything. You know, anything but I mean, how are you gonna feel about kicking her out? Oh, oh, I didn't even cross my mind. I just meant like talking to her again after. No, I have no problem. Honestly, I send her emails all the time. OK. Mm -hmm. She yeah, just ignores me, so it's a matter of her not talking to me, so. I think you look Terrible. so much like Anna Nicole Smith. And I think she's beautiful and gorgeous I'm, uh, and wonderful. Before so I hope the you weight loss or after? I'm just kidding. Look how cute she is. Maybe she's this so will proud. be good for you guys. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be good for all of us not. I think it's going to be a make or break thing. The beef between Joe and I is bad. It's oh, it was bad. Bad. Not like fighting, fist fighting. No. Oh wow, never... that was a long hesitation. Yeah. I mean, there was some shoving, some pushing. Oh really? Yeah. And he slept with my friend. Oh. How do you think he's gonna react? He's gonna smile, mm -hmm. some smirky that sociopathic is... smile yeah. like this, like <laughs> like. Oh hello. <laughs> Okay, I have a question. Does anybody have any pet peeves? Straight people. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure we all have some. So you guys haven't spoken in three years? No. She owed me five dollars one time. Five dollars? Well, you know, no wonder. when you're 14, five dollars, <laughs> no, you, you know. You guys, but like, you can't stand her. I can not stand her. We're from the same small town. She talked a lot of smack, and I'm just not, I wasn't really into that. See, I just don't know what to expect from Carol, because like, well, I mean, you guys haven't spoken in three years, yeah, so like, exactly. and like, your biggest petty argument was five dollars, no, so... No, 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 I, no, mean... no. I mean, like, high school is high school, but, I mean, you know girls in high school, they're catty bitches. Yeah. And, I mean, we were at each other and said we just went our separate ways. Is that a, is that so a what... ring? Is she engaged? That's her right hand. Because, I was gonna say, because she is not loyal. Come I'm on. sorry. It's just lose like... the beef. <laughs> Me lose the beef. I want that five dollars. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, house guests. Oh, hey, Jay. Hi. Hi. So, how are you enjoying the house so far? Love it. Cool. You may think the eleven of you are the only ones in the house, but in fact. There is another group in the house with you right now. And they have been watching your every move. Yeah, like <laughs> those bastards. Oh, and by the way, your first head of household competition will be happening shortly. Oh, wow. It's going to be a fun one. Can we leave? Can we go search? <laughs> And they're watching us. They're up there. They're, they're, they're going household. upstairs. That's why they're going to go upstairs. upstairs. And I thought it was unusual to have people spying on you. And we didn't know what uh, role they were going to play in the game. I guarantee you there's a whole other yeah. set of people and they're older. I guarantee you. No, I think it's going to be something creepy. Something crazy is going to happen. I've heard people saying who they possibly think it could be. But I honestly have no idea who it could be. I don't know if I like this position up here. Right. <laughs> you know. Hey, at least it's us and them. We know what we're walking into. They don't know yet. Maybe it's just Jesus. Oh, watching. please. <laughs> you want to go fishing, Joe? I love his jean shorts. I like. I was gonna say that's pretty oh, sweet. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thought it was like, that's my shirt. <laughs> this ass is ruining my life. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back to Big Brother 8. It's time for the first head of household competition. Free from the threat of eviction, the HOH is awarded special privileges, including their very own private room. But with these perks comes the ultimate responsibility. The head of household must nominate two housemates for eviction. Only the 11 house guests downstairs will be competing. Who will be the first HOH on Big Brother 8? Let's find out. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow. I figured they would have gotten enough to do with dangerous. It's huge! Oh, this is cool. House guests, the power is up for grabs. It's time for the first head of household competition. When I give the go-ahead, you will have 30 seconds to choose a partner and stand in front of a mushroom. The person who cannot find a partner will not be eligible to compete. Choose your partners now. No. <laughs> when we split up into teams, I basically manhandled Joe. I grabbed him and I said, you, you with me. Better, right, yes, mushroom, that's right. right. Yo, all right, yeah, just start spinning. But I mean, he's XOA. Like, no, this poor bastard over here. <laughs> he's like, I I'm all alone. I don't Nick, I'm sorry, but you will not be participating in this competition. Please take a seat on the log. The partnering up didn't go down so well for me, but uh, it was good in the sense that, you know, I didn't want to win the first head of household competition because I kind of wanted to lay low and mingle with everybody the first week and really get to know them. Tonight's game is called Mushroom Madness. I don't care either. House guests seated on the stumps, you'll be asked a series of true or false questions about your housemates. Every incorrect answer will cause your partner's mushroom to spin faster and faster. The team who stays on their mushroom longest wins the competition, and one of you will become the first head of household. I'm told I better not get head of household. I'm going to be oh, really upset. Oh, no. I need everyone to kneel on their mushrooms. We're going to start those mushrooms spinning. <laughs> I had every intention from start to finish to throw the competition. Here's the first question. True or false, at least Five of you have admitted to having cosmetic surgery. True. The correct answer is false. Only two admitted to cosmetic surgery. I figured there was a few boobs. Really? I'm sorry, Amber. Carol's mushroom is going to start spinning faster. Oh, Amber. Yes, right. Amber. True or false? More than half of you said you would give up your best friendship for $500,000. Answers, please. The correct answer is false. This Amber girl, <laughs> she hates her partner. Four of you said you would give up your best friendship. That was one of them. It would it'd take a really, really strong person to turn away a half a million dollars. Carol and Joe, both of you are going to spin even faster. <laughs> As I spun around on that mushroom, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. I don't sit like that. I'm not incredibly flexible in my nether regions. True or false? More than two of you said you would not give up your seat to a pregnant lady on the bus. The correct answer is false. I started going out of my way to try and get the questions wrong, and I was getting them right. Only one of you admitted that you would keep your seat. Everyone got it right. Jen, you're the only one who got it wrong. Zach, you're about to spin faster. True or false, more than three of you have admitted that you are members of the Mile High Club. The correct answer is false. I'm sorry, Jamika, you got it wrong. Joe, you're going to spin faster. Only one of you claimed to have a membership card. What? There's corn in that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> True or false? More than half of you said 
they would have no problem starting a malicious rumor about someone. The correct answer is true. Oh. Amber, Eric, and Jen, you Sorry. all got it wrong. Carol, Kale, and Zach, you're about to spin faster. Oh my god. Okay, I'm falling. I'm falling. She's falling. She's falling. What? Oh my god. Okay. No, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and Carol's down. Carol, you and Amber are eliminated from this competition. Whatever, that was not a slip off. This is your enemy, right? That's why you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be the first one to fall. Zach, you and Jen are eliminated from this competition. I definitely think that it was hard for Zach to sit on the mushroom since he's like 6'5". Obvious from the start that it was, might be a problem. There are no more questions, but your mushrooms will continue to spin faster. This now becomes a battle of endurance. All right, Joe. Good luck. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Nice. Ha, 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 ha. That would have given me, like, a heart attack. Oh, man. Oh. You got this, Joe. down. Right, Mike and Danielle, one more. That's it, the two of you eliminated from this competition. Yes! Please join the others on the log. Good job, Mike. Oh, I like and Kale, Eric, Jamika, and Joe are left. And Joe wants the HOH. I did not want Joe to win the head of household competition. I can't trust him as far as I can throw him, and probably for the same reason, shouldn't trust me either. Welcome back to Big Brother 8. The first head of household competition of the summer is underway. Let's see which team comes out on top. Kale, Eric, Jamika, and Joe are left. And Joe wants the HOH. I mean, it is for $500,000. Hello. Come on, guys. Hang in there. Uh, uh, cranking it up. Uh oh. They're going to go into warp speed. Oh, okay. oh, no. <laughs> is down. When Joe fell off the mushroom, I was kind of happy. He just kind of laid there on the grass and made a big deal out of himself, trying to be the center of attention. You and Jamika have been eliminated, making Kale and Eric the winners of this HOH competition. There is no way in hell I wanted to be one of the last two people standing there. I don't want to go anywhere near a head of household. Oh, I can't. I can't. My legs are asleep. Kel and Eric, congratulations on being the last yeah. team standing. <laughs> now, only one of you, however, can be the head of household. As you know, there is another group of house guests currently hiding in the house. Everybody take a bath. <laughs> now I have another piece of information about these house guests because they were isolated from the rest of you and were not allowed to compete for head of household, they are safe from eviction for this week only. But they are not totally without a voice tonight. They have been watching you and your fate is in their hands. They will decide which of you becomes head of household. They should give it to Kale. Yeah, she, honestly, if they're watching now, give it to Kale. She spun on the thing. I was desperately trying to deflect this off of me. Give it to her. She deserves it. Who didn't get out of the seat for a pregnant lady? Was it one of you? That would be me because I've been pregnant three times and no one ever gave it their seat. So was you? So I'm like, no. <laughs> it was the one person that's been pregnant three times. I love it. Giving it to the child bearer um, is the right thing to do. I feel scared that people are going to, like, jump out at us. 
<laughs> okay, house guests. Yeah. The power is in your hands. Oh, very nice. You must choose the first head of household. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna pick Kale just because she did the work. She did all the work. She, she did, did a great job. Yep. She got shot in the face with all that stuff. Right yeah. on. She, it's Kale. <laughs> Thank you, house guests. I will let your housemates know what you've decided. Right on. Thank you. Congratulations, Kale. You are the first head of household of Big Brother 8. <laughs> I'm the first head of household of Big Brother 8. But now it's going to be really stressful because it's very hard to pick from the original 11 because I like everybody. Yeah, and well earned. <laughs> <laughs> and we really don't care who you nominate, but it ain't us. When we heard the three people upstairs were safe from eviction, I was kind of a little bit disappointed because all of a sudden we were at more of a disadvantage of being voted out. That just scared me. I'm like, oh, I don't feel comfortable with Kale being the head of household. I really don't know who she's going to put up. I definitely feel threatened by it. I came in here not trusting anybody. I still don't. And uh, I don't know who's working together or who's doing what, so not sure yet. Welcome back to Big Brother 8. Three house guests are upstairs watching their housemates every move. It's time to bring these two groups together. Hi, Julie. Hello, hey. good house guests. Hey. Now, I'm sure you've been wondering about the housemates that have been watching you from upstairs. Well, it's time to find out who they are. Yay. You've been warned to expect the unexpected. This summer on Big Brother, some of you will be sleeping with your enemy. Literally. Aye, aye, aye. That's because when your three new housemates I walk down so. the stairs, some of you will see a familiar face. Those who do will be confronted with a person from the past. It could be a rival, an ex, or simply the last person you'd ever want to be locked in the house with. Yes. For those of you about to be reunited with your past, will you let your personal history hinder your gameplay? Or can you use it to help your strategy? How it plays out? Is up to you. Your other housemates will join you shortly. Oh my god. So who has an enemy? Who thinks it's their enemy? Um, I do, and I think I know exactly who it is. This is gonna be my ex-boyfriend Dustin. I don't freaking trust this man. Here's my quick 30-second story. Somehow I immaculately conceived gonorrhea. What? Oh my god! It was negative, you <laughs> I don't know from where. Somehow I didn't cheat. I didn't get it, but somehow I had gonorrhea. My boyfriend swears he didn't cheat. Swears he didn't cheat to this day. He swears he did not cheat. <laughs> Is he forgetting that you're watching? Oh. Oh. oh my God, way to air your dirty laundry. I mean, first night in the house and you're dropping gonorrhea, not only about Dustin, but about yourself. I was completely grossed out. I destroyed his entire life. I went through and annihilated all of his friendships. I've done horrible things to this guy. I'm... You are heated. Yeah. Yeah. Joe will not be pleasant to be around if that rival is here. And I'm just sitting here thinking all hell's going to break loose. OK, he... so who else thinks that? <laughs> who else thinks it's their enemy? I'm really scared that someone's going to come into this house that knows me and blow my whole cover that I'm a multi-business owner and not just a real estate agent. I'm only 21. I don't really have a history. I really don't think it would be one of my rivals. I have, like, one from seventh grade. Who's your enemy? It would be an uh, ex-roommate. A guy or girl. 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 girl, you've been talking about the it's roommate. So I hope that I do not have a rival entering into this Big Brother 8 house. Yeah. Danielle's not saying yeah, a word. Danielle's just locking her lips. I think that my dad is going to be coming in. We don't get along very well. But I haven't told anybody that I'm pretty sure that's who it is yet, because I don't want anybody to know. 
Everybody, seriously, everybody, let's please, the first Original 11, if any of us win HOH in the next few weeks, let's get these people out of here. Original 11, you guys, screw anyone upstairs. Whatever you do, simple advice, don't let this the game up. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I already, yeah. You know. It's not worth it, man. House guests, the time has come to say hello to your new housemates. Hello? Freaking out. Oh, they're coming out down the stairs. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Jessica. Hi. We've been wanting to come out and play. Hello, Danielle. What's the story, Morning Glory? Danielle's my daughter. Oh! And Danielle hasn't talked to me in two years. Oh. It's nice to meet you. I'm Dick. I go by Evil Dick. Uh oh. Justin. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Dustin. Jamaica, nice to meet you. Hi, Danielle, nice to meet you. It definitely turned into a somber mood, you know, because Joe is kind of the happy-go-lucky guy, and now he's kind of disturbed. I don't like this. I want, as soon as possible, to have him removed. Ah, like, ah! <laughs> You guys been here for a while? Yeah, we're sure done. No, I'm fine. Sorry. Huggy. Oh. It's just like so it's hard when like I know he's gonna come in here and like try to make my life miserable. So. But he won't be here long. If you don't want him here long, he won't be here. This is going to be a crazy and interesting summer. Welcome back to Big Brother 8. Do you ever find yourself shouting at your favorite house guests on the TV screen because you know they're about to make a fatal mistake? If so, we have a twist just for you. Because for the first time in Big Brother history, you, America, will be in the house. One of our house guests is called America's Player. This person will follow your instructions throughout the game. Everything from who to get out of the house to who to make out with in the house. It's time to meet America's player. So it looks like I'm gonna be America's player. Welcome to reality TV's first alliance of 10 million. I couldn't be more excited. We're gonna pull off reality TV history. We're gonna win this thing. I'm gonna do this for the online bloggers, the live feed watchers, and everyone sitting on their couch who's saying like, what a bunch of idiots. You guys are in full control of my destiny in this house. You're gonna be able to tell me who to vote for, who the target for nomination. Your wish is my command. I'm here to give you guys what you want. <laughs> I hope America realizes this is a chance for us to be the stars of this show and send everybody else packing. I if I lose to you, this will be the most demeaning moment of my life. I am the quintessential Big Brother player. I got the brains, I got the cutthroat skills. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna bring it home, America. Now that you know the identity of America's player, here's how it will work. You'll be giving directions to Eric every episode this summer, starting this Sunday via text message or online at cbs.com. You give the directions and Eric must follow them. And he's sure to obey you because for every five tasks he completes, he will earn $10,000. Will you be able to lead Eric to the end of the game and the half million dollar grand prize? This summer, the power is in your hands, America. And this is just the beginning of an exciting summer. Oh!
The fun's just getting started in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Will enemies bury the hatchet? I'll help you if you help me. Or fight to the finish? Please get the f out of my face. Do I need to make myself any clearer, Dustin? There are plenty of surprises ahead. Oh, my goodness! Tune in Sunday at 8 for your first chance to control America's player. Let's hope for all of us that we all can settle in for a long stay, you know? Plus, find out how the enemy's twist affects the nominations. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then, ah! next Tuesday at 9, will the golden power of veto save one of the nominees from the chopping block? I know he's even coming here and, like, trying to make my life miserable. And we're back next Thursday at 8 for Big Brother's first live eviction. To the end, this is it. The summer fun's just getting started. Oh. On Big Brother 8. Oh. Now you can see Big Brother like never before. Get an uncensored look on Big Brother After Dark, airing live each night from midnight to 3 a.m. on Showtime 2. You can continue to follow the house guests every move by logging on to CBS.com and subscribing to the live 24-hour internet feed. And coming up next, a special episode of Pirate Master. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. Yeah, we went through this thing where we didn't talk for like five years and then we started talking again mm -hmm. and then like we, we have gotten along and talked, he's been more of a friend and he's a mean friend and I have enough friends where I don't mm -hmm. need a mean friend.